Trump wants to restrict gun-free school zones and imprison deranged individuals. After a shooter massacred 19 students and two teachers at a Texas school this week, former U.S. President Donald Trump suggested on Friday that the U.S. should make it easier to jail deranged individuals and remove gun-free school zones. Clearly, we need to make it considerably easier to lock the violent and mentally insane into mental facilities, Trump said during a speech to a gun rights advocacy group's conference in Houston. The tragic shooting of 19 students and two teachers in Uvalde, Texas, on Tuesday by an 18-year-old shooter using an AR-15-style semi-automatic weapon drew renewed attention to the NRA, a significant fundraiser to members of Congress, largely Republicans. Regarding proposals to strengthen school security, Trump said that each school should have a single point of access, sturdy fencing, and metal detectors, as well as a police officer or armed guard there at all times. This isn't a financial issue. It's a question of willpower. We can accomplish this if the United States has $40 billion to provide to Ukraine he was alluding to the United States financial and military assistance to Ukraine after Russia's incursion in February. The former president also advocated for the abolition of gun-free zones in schools, claiming that such zones leave victims defenseless in the event of an armed assault. As the old adage goes, a good person with a gun is the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun, Trump continued. One of the biggest reasons to arm law-abiding persons is the presence of evil. As Trump entered the stage on Friday afternoon, Video photos of the main auditorium in Houston, which seats roughly 3,600 people, showed it to be about half full.